Yo, yo, yo. Sorry about the late start. This is Afi Kingdom. Today we're going to do a master level assessment. Master level game. <sighs> I'm still on that East Coast time, y'all, so excuse me. Let me um, play a song and then we'll do a roll call and then we'll get into this game. So make sure y'all like the video and um, check in. Let me get this song for you guys. I got a new song for y'all. That's not it. Let's get it, y'all. for the beat. Let's get to it. 
Let me do a quick roll call. Shout out to you, thumbs downs, bro. That's what happens when I go off for a week. You niggas are ungrateful. Shout out to Joe Flass, Unique, Drew Savage, Jonathan W, Alpha Brick, Chris G, Johnny Royal, Nelly Nell. All right, y'all. So today, I wanted to do something different. Um, usually, when I break videos now, it's more of a um, it's more of a reaction, right? So today, this is a video that I happened to watch, and I was up watching it. It came on my TV, and I seen it before, and it came on my TV, and I was like, man. This dude is uh, breaking his dame down heavy. And it just shows you that. Uh, thank you, Unique. I appreciate the cash out, brother. Um, appreciate the cash out. Um, yeah, this guy's breaking the game down. So I'm going I'm to play, play him a little bit. And I'm going to break down the game that he says. And I'm going to break down the subliminal game, too. Right. So this particular video, let me go ahead and share it and then we'll go through it. And if you guys like this kind of content, then y'all let me know. And then I'll, I got either way it goes. I got two more I want to go over. So we'll go over two more this week. But if you guys want me to start doing it more, uh, let me know after. Uh, we run through some of it. This is just, this is just going to be part one. And then we'll just go from there. So press the fire sign if y'all ready. Does that sound like a good deal? Did that sound like a good deal or what? Y'all let me know. So. This is called You'll Never Have to Chase Women Again. What's up, Jesse? Slide through. We live right now. Um, you'll never have to chase women again. And I feel like if you really peep this, you won't. <clears throat> because I can tell you stuff and, you know, sometimes it's better to hear it out of somebody else's mouth. So let's go to this. Okay. Here we go. And this, which is coming up, is a speech that I'm really, really looking forward to. Uh, man, just to share a story. Uh, there's a guy who a lot of you guys are fans of, Eric Von Sydow, Hypnotica, and he said, Steve, you're hosting the 21 convention. You have got to hang out with this guy. He is, and I, I know him, he's a legend. He's been around way back in the day when we all got those David D'Angelo CDs for 20 bucks a month. And a true, true man, awesome guy. And uh, here, let's welcome onto the stage, the Brent Smith. Thank you. Man, great to meet you. That's a, a lot to live up to. Actually. Oh, I hope I can. Hope All I can right, take it, it away, man. Okay, hello. How are you? Everyone good? Okay, I'm super excited to uh, be here today and have this discussion with you. Um, my glasses on here. So, no, this isn't a reaction, really. This is more, this is me. Even if you have seen it, See, it's it's not a reaction. I'm a t I'm teaching what he's teaching. It don't make sense because I know how to teach it better than he teaching it. <laughs> but he leaving a good foundation for me. Yeah, it's not a reaction. We ain't. I'm not clowning him or nothing. He this no he no this guy he's spitting fire game. There's no, Let's get that wrong. I'm there, I'm not in here to correct him. He's a, he's so on point that. I want to elaborate. That's how on point he is. So no, I ain't breaking him down or I ain't, oh, this is he where he fucked up at. Like, no, nah, he on point. That's why that's why I was that's why I wanted to talk about it. So let me let's let's play it some more. Okay, so today I'm gonna start off by giving you my most important piece of advice and there what I go. think is the secret to uh, attracting hotter women into your life and having incredibly healthy relationships and when i was 
Can y'all hear it? Press uh, one. Talking to Anthony, I said, what is the most highest leverage concept that you've ever heard from me? He said, well, by all means, it's this one. Stop chasing women. Wow. Wait a minute, Nelly. Wait a minute, Nelly. Hold on, Nelly. Jesse, Jess, Jesse, you want to come up with me? Don't tell me. Do not tell me this old white guy with gray hair and glasses just told y'all to stop chasing women. No, nah, he couldn't have said that. I've been telling y'all that. He couldn't have said that. That's just Afi. Just that's just Afi wanting to just deter y'all away from women and stuff because he the one. I he I ain't never told y'all that. No, bro. I keep telling you guys. I keep telling you guys the best way and easiest way to get women is to not chase them. This is not no thing that I just say. This is facts. You don't. Okay, let's get into it some more. He just told that's the not only was that something he said, it was the first thing that he said. You stop chasing them, bro. That's the first thing that you do. That's it. And that's all I want to say to you today. So thank you very much. Um, no, but I could. If I just if you just if you just took this one piece of advice and did nothing else, your life when it comes to dating women would be fantastic because you'd save a ton of money, a lot of your precious time, a lot of heartache. Uh but I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so when you hear me say something like this, stop chasing women, you probably think, oh, that's absolutely ridiculous, Brent. Why would I want to do that? How does that work? Will women even chase guys? And um, you know, if I want to get women, how do I? I don't understand. How do I stop chasing them if I'm chasing them? I understand it's very it can be very confusing. Um, but the reason we're having this conversation is because dating in itself is broken. The whole dating according procedure and process that we go through is broken. It hardly works for anyone these days. Uh, even though there are a myriad of experts out there who uh, have books and, and programs and appear on TV shows and are telling us all how to do it the right way, what they think is the right way, still most uh, relationships end in divorce, most relationships end badly and it's because we're doing things the traditional way. And so what's happening is men have become very pushy and women have become very passive. Uh, okay, so. This is for Jesse. We do it a certain way that we've been taught. So there's the traditional way. Which is man chases women. And all the things that go into that, right? As men, we sit around and obsess about, you know, oh, I've got to meet women because it will make me cool. How do I do it? Where do I go to do it? What do I say? Uh, how do I ask a woman out? How do I get a phone number? How do I get sex? How do I get a girlfriend? It's all about getting, getting, getting. And what most people teach is, just a way to do this. I was trying to draw kind of like a horse. So, so as you see, I'm not the only person. I see when I tell you guys stop extra level p chasing. I'm not just telling you that because I want you to adapt to my style. It's not that it's my style. It's the real thing that works. It seems like it's something else. It. This is the only way to go, bro. This is not just how I want you to do it. You see? And I think that's how come some guys be thinking like, oh, you're just saying that. That's just the way that you do it. No, bro. How I want you to do it. That it, that it the, the easiest way to get women is to not chase them, bro. This is not a catchphrase. Th look at this guy saying it. He knows it, and I know it, and some of you guys just think it's just something that we just kind of say, or, yeah, it's your turn. Like, no, it's a real thing. 
the moment you stop chasing women is the moment that you're going to start having women and an abundance because they they're going to want to figure out your validation you see men need to understand the power of validation right you think it's just saying i love you you're beautiful and i don't want to validate her i don't want to i don't want to tell her that stuff no bro see the thing that 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 men need to understand is you know validation is the new drug so when you give women validation you're giving them a hit of their drug so the key is knowing Daily Nail Alpha Brit. The key is knowing that you have power. So if you you don't look at it like I'm validating the woman, I'm simping. You look at it like I have the drug. Give me a fire sign to chat if y'all following me. You have the power. The validation is in your hands. You guys stick your hand out, right? Stick your hand out and look at it. Look at the center of your hand. The center of your hand is validation. So you have the power to give and take that at any time. Do y'all follow me? The key to validation is in the middle of your hand. You can distribute this how you want to. You don't look at it like a bad thing. Like, I don't want to validate women because I don't want to. No, bro. You do. You, you don't want to give away free validation. But you definitely want to give out validation. You just want to control when it is given, who it's given to, why it's given, and what you want in return. Y'all feel me? You, you see the difference? This is master level game, y'all. This is master level game. Let's continue. We know that this doesn't work really, the traditional way. We all have had experience. I've had tons of experience in the old way of doing things. And it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't, um, uh, end in the results that we all want, but we, we keep beating this dead horse. Okay. And we keep, and people keep teaching us things that don't necessarily work, but we keep following because we have no other way of, uh, of doing stuff. No one else tells us anything different. Okay. So just a little background about me. Uh, I used to go on a lot of traditional dates and chase a lot of women and I start out like every other guy and I used to go on a lot of dates too so when I'm telling you guys don't expert level P chase again it's not me saying it because I want to control what you guys do make sure y'all like the video too it's not it's not that I've done it before Appreciate you, Nelly Nell, for the super chat. If you already know, after that third super chat, we're going to have a party. That's the first one, so thank you. Well, actually, we want one more super chat. We can have a super chat party because my man, uh, Unique, hit the cash app. If you guys hit the cash app, let me know because it's on my iPad. I don't be getting them sometimes, so y'all make sure to let me know. So I have chased it. Alpha Brick says, I'm young and I'm trying to get my notch count out. You can. And when you expert level chase, you will get that. But let me tell you a secret, Alpha. Thank you, brother. Okay, let's get the super chat going. What's up, Reginald? You can get a lot of body counts when you super pursue and pooper super chase. But this, the thing is, bro, that's not teaching you real female nature. That's just teaching you how to get laid and knowing how to control and understanding how women work 
is different than meeting women and having sex with them fast. Now you young, so I don't, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. No, go on ahead and do that. But just know that there's a whole nother level and you want to try to do a mix of both. You want to be, you want to be getting new, new prospects, but you also want to just be dealing with women too. So let me tell you guys another trick. Don't just pay attention to women that you're sleeping with. Hold on, Jesse. Don't just pay attention to women that you're sleeping with. You have to just learn interaction from women, bro. And the thing is, is you, you focus in so much on sex that you're not learning the lessons that you need to learn from the experience of dating multiple women. And when I say dating multiple women, I'm not even necessarily talking about a rotation. It's not even dating multiple women at one time, but you don't learn game from having girlfriend after girlfriend and after girl. You don't learn game like that because you're just you're learning about one dynamic. See, a, a boyfriend girlfriend dynamic is only one dynamic of relationships. There's other dynamics, too. And when you're just sleeping with women just fast, 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 you're not learning because you guys are not you're not dealing with the woman long enough to see her different emotions and shit. And you don't know how to control women's different emotions and shit if they're never revealed to you because all you're doing is having sex with them and then the shit falls off, you see? And when you do that pattern over and over and over again, and you get to the part where you're like 30 years old and you're wondering why you have experience, excuse me, you're wondering why you've had plenty of experiences with women but you're still having problems with women and you got 50 bodies and you got 100 problems. You're like, wow, I slept with all these women. How come I'm still having problems? Because you haven't learned enough about women. You learn about having sex with women. And that's only the very first medial level to the game. Jesse, how you feeling today, this morning? Oh, man, you know, man, highly blessed, never stressed. Blessed, you know goes. Stressed. Yeah. Just at home right now. But yeah, you're right, man. It seems like we've been limiting ourselves a lot. I'm not sure if my camera was camera's blurry, but yeah, we've been limiting ourselves a lot, pigeonholing ourselves. Like, men leave a lot on the table, man. Like when it comes to like dynamics and things like that, they leave a lot on the table. They'll take like the physical aspect of things and think that's enough and that's that. But like you're shortchanging yourself. And what you said is very true. It just doesn't, I think my camera's blurry, hold on. Um, it doesn't just apply to just women. Like we have to start looking at things. I know like framing it that way is what gets people in the door, unfortunately. Um, but right. we have to look at um, human interaction in general, man. Seduction does, just doesn't apply to women. It's, it's just a general thing. You have to understand people. Like same with that, shortchanging yourself with people, getting to know people, taking your time to understand human beings, human emotions, how people interact, those things. They end up helping you a lot and helping you progress and go far. Um, it's it's very, very simple when you think about it, just to listen, take your time, understand and relate, like, mm -hmm. and relate and also like applying things to yourself and like human emotion. That's where emotional intelligence comes into play it's cool, the physical side of things, but like at the end of the day, you have to be well-rounded and that's where most people fall short. Like, okay, you get chicks, so what? You get money, so what? But then you're still at a basic level. Your intelligence is lacking when it comes to like diversifying and then going deep, 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 like peeling the layers. There's a certain level of, um, there's a certain level of satisfaction and fulfillment that comes with like peeling the layers and getting to the base level and understanding someone in like their essence like what makes somebody up the ethos of someone like you know like the core functionality what makes somebody tick tick and just understanding that that goes a long way in human interaction and helping yourself and helping others that's where growth comes from right we say travel cures ignorance that's something you've said rpc has said but like you can relate that to travel too travel you go you put your beliefs to the side and you see how other people live and then you you take that in and you add it to your what you already know and your existing belief system. You travel somewhere else, it opens your eyes to different cultures and you're more well-rounded that way. That's the same way human beings. Everybody's different. Everybody has 
different complex layers. If somebody's worth exploring those layers, even if somebody's not worth it, you can explore those layers to see this is something I don't want. This is something I don't want to interact with. So it's um it's very, very important what you said. You hit on a very great point, man. Like somebody just, you know, being with multiple women and getting to a certain stage in life and like, okay, like I've racked up like the high notch count, but at the same time, you're just like missing something within. And that's, that's very important. Thanks. <laughs> if, if you don't guys know who this is, this Jay Finesse, this Jesse Abigail, this is my friend for like three years. And he was yeah. actually the first, first interview. interview huh? Yep. So he ain't new to this. He just true to this. Um, it, man. Shout out to uh, Reginald for the for the. Hold on, let me just throw y'all up real quick. Let me just give some love for the super chat. Let me throw a little quick super chat party real quick because I appreciate the love. And then we'll get back to this fire game. Give me a fire sign in the chat if y'all enjoying the way we're breaking the game down. Because like I said, this is gonna be a series for the week. So we're not gonna be on here hackling. We're gonna be on here really like learning for real. It's a super chat party, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat party. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> so that's only the first one. We got the power up one if y'all keep it going. I see right. NYC said, uh, I sent you a cash app. We need two more for the super super chat. Appreciate that, NYC. So let yeah, me you guys. No you guys got to, um, when you guys come and listen to the game, you got to replenish where it comes from, right? You mm -hmm. got to like put right back into Afi so you can keep going, man. You got to fill the well because guess what? It got to rain in order for you to get water from the well all the time. It's got to rain. So open up your pockets and embrace, embrace mm -hmm. the ism. All right. You ready? Let me, let me, let's put, let's get back in on this guy. got some good game, bro. Yeah. Basically. Actually, before, before, before you start, man, have you noticed? Have you noticed most of these guys who um who end up speaking at these conventions and stuff? They they they're very late bloomers. It seems it, it seems like yeah, true. It makes you wonder, right? Like most of these guys. Um, I mean, not to dump on my man, but he's kind of swagless McGee here, man. But again, the game. That's the thing. You can adapt and learn these things and become a better version of yourself. It's never too late. To mm -hmm. to, to um to, for my point, but let's get into it. Mm hmm. Hold on, bro. For whatever reason, bro. For whatever reason, Dark Ninja, you think I'm playing around with you, bro. I'm not playing around with you, okay? Not today. So as I go through the chat, and um, hold on, let me pull up this chat. As I go through the chat, um. Afi, just keep and it I, and I Honestly, you don't even bug, Hold on, bro. I tell yeah, it wasn't you, meant for you, man. You don't don't even engage that dude. 50, you drop 50 before you make a comment in here again, bro. You don't leave me 10 motherfucking emails and then just come back and just be saying, what's up, cosigning my fucking shit, nigga. <laughs> you drop me $50 or you get blocked from my fucking channel. I'm not fucking around with you, nigga. <laughs> That's how you treat bitches. How that, you, 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 you dog your bitch out, then you tell her you sorry. Like, I don't, nigga, I, do I look like a bitch to you? So, you drop me $49.99 in the cash app. Keep that same energy you had in the motherfucking emails, nigga. Oh, he was talking spicy in the emails? Telling me what he condone and what he don't condone. So since you so smart, nigga, and you left me all those fucking emails while I was spending time with my mama and my family, you dropping me 50. You can't come back here, nigga, till you drop me 50. Talking about what I got against you. Nigga, you keep bothering me. That's what the fuck I got against you. You dropped me $50. You just thought I was just saying that to, as a part of the show? No, nigga. I dead ass want my money. You disrespected me. You got to buy me a bottle of Moet, bruh. That's what the $50 is for. The, I want a Moet bottle on you, nigga. You just can't come back, come here and there whenever you feel like it. Fuck wrong with you. What I got against you. You keep coming back, nigga. Keep that same energy. You, you was talking all that shit. 
And when we tell them out what your girl said, nigga, well, then go to them other channels, bro. You go hang out other places. Don't hang out over here till you buy me a bottle of Moet, nigga. Set, uh, very uh, uh, socially anxious, uh, not knowing what to say. And I only knew the traditional way, so I didn't even know there was any other way to think about it. So I would go out, I would get, you know, try to talk to women, try to get numbers, try to get dates, all the normal stuff. And what happened was I ended up committing a ton of time to it, and I became a master pursuer of women. Okay. <laughs> These niggas so think we playing I around. Was around that. I was a master number collector. That's all I did. But I got to a point where even if I did a massive amount of it, there was very little return. So even if, even if you're really good, you can ask the guys who are really, really good. Even if you have a high quantity of women you talk to and interactions you have and numbers you get, you're only going to convert a certain amount of them into actual dates, even the best guys. And I'm sort of lazy. So one day I was thinking, you know, I, I'm pretty good at this and it's happening for me and I'm converting these things in date, but it's so exhausting. I'm out every night. Wow. Doesn't expert level pussy chaser sound like a fun thing? It sounds like you just out get tired out just approaching women after women. Look, this is how I learned game, Jesse. Now I learned game. It's, it was natural for me, and I wish I could have I could teach this as the blueprint. But the reason why I'm so good with women and so good with game is because I learned women in psychology before I start dating and having sex. I, I grew up around my mom and my sister. I watched them. Jesse, you gotta check out my video from last. You know me and my mama did a drop, bro. Yeah, I heard about that joint, man. Yeah, be mean to check that. So I learned from women. I always was a people watcher, and I always just was studying cause and effect. When this happens, this. So by the time I actually started to chase women and date women, I understood how they operated. I wasn't just. I wasn't just. I didn't just dive in there in water like where, where is sex? How can I get sex? Let me keep swimming till I run into some cheeks. No, I already know how to get cheeks because I already understood how women work and I understood how they respond to. <laughs> I'll be cold with it. When his girl dub come, your bottle will be gift with rap. Yeah. <clears throat> like for real. If y'all if y'all drop a 1999, I'll I'll read you his emails again. And then y'all and then still so y'all won't see, like, oh, I'll be just being petty. No, I'm not being petty. This guy literally fucking harasses me. <laughs> I don't like it. Like they got don't joke with me. I'm not no fucking kid. You that's them other YouTube niggas who wasn't players for real and they just got to this shit because they got their heart broke. I'm a real nigga. I don't fuck around like that. You can't nigga send me heartfelt ass messages and just come back and be like, yeah, that was fire what you said. Fuck you. I don't care if you like my game or not. I don't care if you like my channel or not, nigga. I am tired of you. You make me feel like I've been expo level pussy chasing. It exhausted me. <laughs> Robert James, I was just going to text you too. We'll do what we're we, we, we going to chop it up the same time. We're going to do it tonight, brother. Thank you. Yeah, bro. Expert level pussy chase away and your time and energy and invested in yourself. I'm even tell you guys if I wasn't chasing in my 20s, I would have been 10 times better than I am right now. I'm playing catch up, Jesse. Yeah, man. That stuff, it, it, stifles development so much man holy and even as that man nobody ever talks about um once they even get to like red pill they don't talk about the stage after that where mm -hmm. you have to focus on empire building and like narrow down like the chase ends at some point the chase has to end because it gets boring and you have to focus on building an empire and find an apartment to stand by you and someone to assist you in building that empire because guess what with all that expert level pussy chasing, you're leaving a lot on the table, man. Mm -hmm. Ties back to the point where after you <clears throat> getting to know somebody and understanding them, guess what? If you start at a physical and you end at a physical, you're not peeling back the layers to see other qualities where somebody could assist you so much in building your empire. And that's why I love you, bro, because, and that's why I call you Jay Finesse because you're about the finesse game, and people don't understand the power of finesse game. They just think that's like slick. Like, no, bro. Like, the what once you once you learn how to once you learn like okay, put it like this. For instance, for me, like, and women who I date, they don't understand. Like, women who I date, they be like, they feel like, oh, you know, Afi is he has some good game and he's good looking. 
but they don't understand that my energy draws in so many women. Like I can't, if you were with me, you cannot be territorial because I draw in women. If women just think it's, oh, you got a lot of women because you're out here chasing and say, no, my energy, bro, it draws women in. Women just come to me. If I go to the mailbox, if I go to the target, they just like me, bro. And, and then I have a positive spirit, which is also very effective because if I'm talking to a woman in Target, for instance, and she may down and out and I come to her and I talk to her and my frequency is high and my energy is good, even if she's not attracted to me, she's going to be like, wow, Jesse, this man, Afi, whoever the fuck he is, he makes me feel good. Yeah, it's one thing to have, um, it's one thing to be fly and it's one thing to have fly energy and have a fly spirit, man. That's not um that's not emphasized much at all. Like people don't talk about that, man. That's a different level. That's that's where like your your energy is like people people feed off it, but it's also like gratifying for others to be around you. But once once you get to that level, you also have to be cautious of who you let around you because then it can become draining or you have to be around people that replenish that. Because mm -hmm. it's a yin and yang, right? Finding that right balance, man. But that fly energy that fly energy and if your spirit is right you know you move with integrity you do the right things and you just you're like abundance mindset you attract the right energy mm -hmm. the right people around you man oh man it's a different that, that's it's the a reason different why, level of bliss that's the reason why bro and you even said this our our group of men our brotherhood is so is so tight and it's so thick is because it's positive energy we don't we don't talk about other content creators we don't we don't even really talk about hoes that much you know For what i'm what, saying man because i did yeah. and seeing that it's a group of us we keep each other's frequency high nobody hates on each other no we don't we don't be like how many did you get this week because i got five which you get? Like, we don't have those kind of conversations we talk about property over here going over there yeah i've noticed um i've noticed there's we some consistent content. we've been consistently doing it for years at this point. oh yeah definitely i've noticed there's some content creators who they feel like they have to keep talking about the pursuit of women because that's what brings in the numbers and stuff and that's that's plain to an audience man and that kind of even even if you don't believe that man that's that will weigh on your spirit man because at the end of the day like there has to be an evolution evolution because guess what Maybe maybe um immortal minds, Rom Wells, those type of guys don't talk about like after the player stage or once you're red pill, like expanding beneath and going because there isn't much content about okay, what if you're red pill and you wanna have a family? And what if you're red pill and you wanna have a child and how to go about it and going beyond that? It seems like most of these guys are stuck in that um are stuck in that scarcity mindset where they want to protect what they've acquired so much. I like that. They're, that. they're willing to acquire, acquire. That's slick. I like yeah, that. They're, they're willing to they're willing to deprive themselves of life's greatest joys in order to protect the little that they have at this point. But guess what? Once you you say, okay, I started off blue pill. I learned. Mm -hmm. I went into the abundance mindset, and I I took that approach with physical gratification. Okay, it's gotten boring now. My soul craves more. Where do I go? Guess what? You got to cut those numbers down. You got to peel the layers. And once you come across that person, you start thinking, okay, now what? You got to build that person. Because guess what? The right person will bring a lot to your table. That's where growth and expansion comes in, right? So we talked about being so scared with protecting the little that you have that you're not seeking for more. You're not striving for more. The right person will add and amplify what you have right mm -hmm. but it seems like because so many have failed in that pursuit they're okay with being at that stage you have to dare to be great you have to go beyond and one thing mlc shout out to um mlc man shout out to great, great guy he said if the truth seekers and the red pill men if they don't reproduce who's supposed to reproduce the earth the wicked the simps, the blue pill, the suckers, no. So we have to we have to go above and beyond what we know. We have to seek that next step, that next level. Where guess what? And once you do that, the focus. Somebody in the um, comments, I think Bruce Leroy said he wasted a lot of time or money chasing women. That's the thing. Once you you're on the constant chase, your focus is all over the place, man. 
once you just narrow it down and you know one partner just doing your thing focusing her, she's helping you like that's where growth comes and the growth is going to be exponential exponential i remember somebody said um um divorce rates are high amongst households with low income but once you reach like 200k and above divorce divorce rates are super super low because guess what they're in the pursuit of excellence they're in the acquisition of wealth acquisition of assets and things like that that's where the true growth is and they're chasing that because at some point the chase gets boring it gets right. boring and you're gonna have to narrow things down and guess what you could be red pill while doing that or many haven't done it being you know red pill and all of that maybe it might be difficult a bit because your ideology will get tested your leadership will get tested your leadership will be called upon multiple times and maybe some don't want that responsibility to steer a whole unit right in mm -hmm. the pursuit of excellence so that's i just went on a big tirade but that's one thing we got to keep in mind no i saw good bro shout out to information man for the super chat we gonna throw you a special pimping ass super chat a pimping ass one just because we from oakland so I got a Jesse, you see, I got multiple ones. I got to give my man the pimping one because well, this is just the Oakland. This is just the Oakland style, man. <laughs> this is the Oakland style. So shout out, shout out to, uh, shout out to Mr. Information Man. Let me get this, let me get this cracking for you. And then after that, we'll go back into the video. So I appreciate that uh, super chat, brother. If coming from the Oakland town, that's a hometown super chat. That's a hometown one, bro. So shout out to you. Let's get it. It's pimping. Hey, hey, how you doing? Let's get it. To get with you. The town is pimping. It's a pimping super chat. We got Mr. Big pimping in the bar. We got Willie Dynamite pimping around here. Just hitting the game. Spitting the fire game. We got Snooper here pimping hoes. That's the finesse game. It's all pimping super chat party. You see what we're doing? We popping our collars. We making money. We making plays. We're talking about million dollar deals. Super chat party on the pimping. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Now let's get back to this video and we'll see what else my man got to say. All right. Trying to collect numbers and then, of course, trying to figure out how to leave them a message, what to say, how to respond, how to get them to do this, that, and the other thing. And uh, so I decided, I had a crazy idea. And maybe I would just do the opposite. They think it's crazy when we tell them, Jesse. It's not. It's the. It's the real way. Watch what he say. Of what I've been taught. Maybe I would just kind of not give a shit anymore, and I'd go out talk to people. About this mindset. Instead, when I talk to women of trying to get their phone number and trying to talk them into stuff, I would talk them into stuff. Give them my number. Have them, you know, chase me, ask me out. Wow, that sounds like a difficult yeah. thing, huh? Crazy way to do things. <laughs> yeah, if you pause that for a second, I just want to uh, add a okay. comment to that. You already said it's, it's um, a pretty, it's a pretty crazy thing said, until it started just... working. As he said, it was pretty crazy until yeah, it started it's working. Just, it's just, yeah, but that's the thing. It's just taking somebody off a pedestal and just literally putting them directly on your same level. Because at the end of the day, if you're in the pursuit like that, then you're subservient. You're chasing. You're chasing a dream. You're chasing something attainable. You're chasing something that you see that will make you better. But once you just, okay, I have something to offer too. I'm just as great. It's There's, there's balance, right? So mm -hmm. The validation is in your hands. We said that earlier. So he even said, I know it sounds crazy, but let me do the opposite. That's See, I know, I know exactly what he knows. I just learned it a long time ago. So I want to discuss with you why uh, the traditional way of chasing women is uh, is not a good thing to be doing. Just so for you why guys out there. So 
doing everything the traditional way sets you up as the provider. Boom. Okay, when I say provide. When you do stuff like that, women don't value it because they haven't earned it. You made a change. I mean, that's like. Yeah. That's but, like something you get for free versus something you buy. You're always going to value the thing you buy because you pay for it. What you get for free, what hasn't been earned, will never be respected. That's that's just that's just human psychology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Let's see. Provider, um, you know, women will say, "Oh, you know, I want you know someone to provide for me and so on." And that's not what I'm talking about in that traditional context, because that's. Here you go. We're not we playing with you ads today. Like this. That's We're why not playing around. Get out of here. My team uses it to manage. That's true. I do believe that, you know, you should provide for your family and so on. But the way that most guys use provider is in that we give women things in order to get them to like us. We mm. do things for them just in order for them to like us because we think that's the way we have to do it. And I'll tell you um, something that I figured out along the way is there's absolutely nothing sexy about the provider. The provider mm. I'm talking about. Okay? Absolutely. See, when you do that, when he's saying there's nothing sexy about a provider, what he's saying is there's nothing sexy about chasing women from the from the woman. Church. It don't matter. Happy. You know what? This, this is this is what they think, bro. They be thinking, well, guess what? If I if I'm a high value guy, I'm I'm a high value guy. I have I make six figures, I have waves in a beer, and I dress nice. So guess what? I can chase women because I'm high value. No, nigga, it don't matter if you high value or not. Matter. If you chasing them, they don't like that shit, bro. Avi, you know what? You know what they prefer? What is better? What is fulfilling? Is the adventure of being on the ride with someone chasing excellence and pursuing it, and being able to assist in that and help each other grow. That that chasing that goal chasing goals the pursuit of abundance as opposed to pursuing said person mm -hmm. real talk yeah That's yeah dark engine snipe i had to snipe him bro because he ain't dropped me that he for some reason he thought i was ha 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 give me 50. no i'm dead ass serious my nigga i told you i try to give you which i try to give him bro i try to give him a chance to give him my money i told him don't come back here without my money he come in here talking about what's up yeah dropping facts yeah the woman said nigga i don't care what you say bro <laughs> nigga don't try to co-sign me like we buddies we ain't buddies nigga don't come back what part don't you understand until you drop me my money you just can't tell me sorry nigga i don't work like that i like cash because if i because if i if you tell me sorry and i say okay and then you i piss you off you're gonna start talking shit again give me some of that money that's where that's that you need to invest nigga and if you bought my motherfucking books, you wouldn't have no problems with hoes anyway. So you already slacking. I already got five books for you to read. You still have problems with hoes, nigga. That's your bad. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. What you was going to say? Oh, okay. I thought you was about to say something. No, no, my bad, my bad. This thing's delaying a bit. Oh, that's shit. All right, let me pull this up. Yeah, going to tell me. I don't condone your behavior. Nigga going to tell me he don't condone his behavior, and he can't He can't even. If you can't control your dick, bro, you can't give me no, no fucking advice, bro. This nigga out here getting random hoes pregnant and shit telling me he don't condone my behavior. Nigga, condone your dick first. When you can, con nigga, when you can you control. Can control and I you can, can control your emotions. Yeah. If you can control your dick, once you start learning, first things, first things first. I pop a freak all the honeys, dummies, playboy bunnies. But once you learn how to control your dick, then we can have a conversation. You can't even control your dick. You, we, it's like I'm, I'm at a whole other level than you, bro. Master your dick shit first. Master being able to keep your dick in your pants and not stick it everywhere raw. And once you get to that part, then me and you can have a conversation. But right now, you ain't mastered that yet, so you can't do it. We can't, we can't have a talk yet. And and the 50. They ain't going to try to co-sign. Yeah, man. And, uh, nigga, I don't care about your shit. I don't care about your elaboration and your commentary, nigga, till you drop me your money. You like a weirdo to me. You are a dark ninja. We've all... Uh, we've all seen this uh, scenario of the rich guy 
who you know has a ton of money. He's got a nice car. He meets some girl. He uh, asks her out. He takes her to an expensive. Now you block for my emails and YouTube, genius. At the end of the night, he spends all his money on it. At the end of the night, he gets a kiss on the and drops her off. Okay, maybe some of you have done that. I've done it for sure. Uh, and then there's the guy, the other guy. He doesn't spend any money on the girl. Mm. He's not a great dresser. Mm. He doesn't seem to have many skills. Mm. Uh, but she's addicted to him and can't get enough of him. Wow. And this guy doesn't do anything that the other guy does. Now, I'm going to let you, I'm going I'm to I'm get my coffee and I'm going to let you go in on this, Jesse, because you have master finesse game. I have master finesse game. Tell these guys, like, the. tell these guys, brother, what the difference is and how better it feels. Like, you know, like, you're a master baiter. So, like, it's not the fact that you know how to get women. It's how you're getting them. Doesn't it feel so much better when you're just living your life, showing it on Instagram, and then they just come to you? Don't that just feel so much better? That's the thing. It's once you explore yourself. Give give us some, give, give like. some tips on how they can get that, bro. I mean, it's, it's very, very simple. First of all, spend some time with yourself. Understand who you are as a man, what you enjoy, and you live life with passion yeah. that way. Okay? So once you live in life with passion, enjoy yourself, and really just, if you know how to live life on your own, on your own terms, and enjoy that, you're in your own world. And guess what? That energy attracts the right people who want to be in that world. And that makes it simple. And you're staying within your frame, within your wheelhouse. And anybody who's coming into it is somebody who wants to come and add to it and come and maybe enjoy the same thing. There's 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 a certain um there's certain familiarity. Those are things that they identify that they enjoy and want to be a part of. And that's that's how it should be. That's how it should always be people step out of themselves to pursue others and it's never it's never ever the right way because then you end up being phony if you pretend to have interest in something in hopes of pursuing somebody else it is inauthentic it just won't work because you're stepping outside of yourself you're stepping outside of your authenticity so first of all explore yourself understand what you enjoy and what you like within your character and just bask in the glory of that and you'll attract the right people thanks bro all right let's get into one man sam he's a complete more of the friend with benefits type guy more careful not trying to push her into doing anything and she's addicted to this guy always trying to find out where he's at basically what he's saying is the woman is addicted to the guy's energy not even his game not his jawline and all of that shit <laughs> He's addicted to the energy, bro. You know, what is he doing? He's just texting him, trying to meet him. And where is he? Is he at this certain club or this bar? You know, going over and, and hunting him down. And sometimes this girl goes from the date with the rich guy and texts the friend with benefits guy on the way home and goes over to his house. Have you been that guy, Jesse? <laughs> Multiple times, man. That's quite normal, to be honest. It's, it's all teamwork, man. One digs the trench, one lays the pipes. Teamwork. <laughs> he said it's teamwork. <laughs> it's real talk, bro. Like, you don't have to do much. I don't do much. And 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 even, even when I was doing a lot, it, it's still just different when you're getting the same results. This is the key to the game. The key to the game is getting the same results as you're chasing without chasing. So how you do that is you just chase your shit and then they will chase you. You know? And it, and I know it sounds like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's just some shit to say. Like, no, nah, bro. See, the thing is, is it's because your purpose is just for women. And that's how come you're not getting the results you want is because you're focusing on your purpose. But guess what? It's like you're it's like you're watching the clock. So you're focused on your purpose, but you keep checking the clock. The clock is analogy for uh, the sex, the women. So it's like, okay, my purpose is went up two notches, so I should get two more girls. That's not being on your purpose for real. When you're getting your purpose for real, you're not, you're not counting and 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 
in um, evaluating constantly your progress with women. Because if you're on your purpose and you're really working towards something, you don't you don't go back and forth with that because you're focused on the most important thing, which is you. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Trav. Like he said, not every girl is going to feel you. A lot of times you guys waste time on women that don't want you anyway. And the thing is, is sometimes you may be persistent and you may win a woman over. But when you do it like that, you're at her beck and call. The moment you do some shit that she's not doesn't approve of or don't like, then your ass is out. And then you really hard broke because look how much investment you had to try to get her. You didn't you didn't did all of this stuff. So, of course, you're going to be mad. Go ahead, Brett. Brent. So which guy do you want to be? You know, it sounds simple to me. You want to be the guy who attracts women like that, who doesn't have to jump through all those things. OK. Um, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, the traditional way that we're taught, you know, especially when we're interacting with women is you know, we're out there and we're, we're, we're talking to them, you know, we're kind of hovering over them and uh, pressuring them. And, you know, I go, I got to talk this girl into, you know, I got to get her number and I got to talk her into going out with me. And everything is about pressure. And right. Everything is about pressure. Like, Jesse, you notice when he's talking, you feel that energy. Doesn't that energy feel desperate? Like, ooh, how... How do I make her do this? I want to yeah, like just, that. It's energy, bro. It doesn't even see guys be thinking that it's only about the shit that come out of their mouth. Like, just for instance, like so if, if a dude is uh simping over a chick, he gonna be like, like, well, I didn't tell her I love her. Well, I didn't tell her this. It don't matter if you told her or not, bro. She can feel where you stand. Let me say that again. She can feel where you stand. One more time. She can feel where you stand. It does not matter what she says. I'm glad you came across, but definitely an awakening. Yeah, bro. I got the best, the best content, bro. I got the realest content. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that's why people don't like it because people just like uh, little tricks and shit. And 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 I'm about the real shit. And if you want some disrespect, see, I'm a clown. You, some people don't like it, but. Um, this is my personality. This is how I am, bro. I like what I like, and I don't what I don't. And if people don't like it, that's the thing I don't. That, that's the thing I don't like, Jesse. I always say, you don't like it, you don't watch it. Like there should never be no thumbs down on videos and stuff like that because casual people on YouTube is not. Let me see what master level game assessment is. No, bro, that is not it, bro. You are a nigga who come over here every day to figure out what I got going on in my life, what I'm doing today. What I got planned, and you need thumbs down the video. Like you guys are niggas. I feel sorry for all of you too. It just it just shows me you got a weak hater mindset. How could you how could you thumbs down some shit that ain't even started yet? That means I make your stomach hurt, and that means that I got your soul because I'm in control of your emotions. You see, so I'm still pimping on you whack ass niggas too. I'm not just pimping hoes, I'm pimping niggas too. Because when you when you niggas wake up, you think about me. Let me go to his shit and thumbs it down. Look, I got your soul, bro. Because when I wake up, I don't think about you. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't go both ways. That's what y'all don't understand. You think about me, but I don't think about you. If you don't come over here saying stuff, I won't mention you. You know, it it shows you. The mindset of a man, a mind, your mindset, how you thumbs down and say slick shit, that tells me how you deal with niggas at work. That tells me how you deal with your friends. That tells me how you deal with your family. You're pieces of shit. That's what that tells me, bro. That's what it tells me. Cause you're not even like, not, you're not even disagreeing with something. You're trying to like, you're waking up trying to get another dude in his feelings, bro. So how manly is that where you wake up and you want to piss Afi out? You, that's your, that, that was your objective. You didn't wake up and meditate, bro. You didn't wake up and meditate, did you? You woke up and you wanted to piss me off. That's That was your angle? That's alpha as fuck, isn't it? I bet you get a whole lot of women doing shit like that, bro. Let me, yeah. I, that's what happens, true. So I got they souls, bro. And, and I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, because y'all doing the thumbs up, y'all still listening. 
Yes, I do have your nigga souls. And the, and the fly part about it is I ain't even try to get it because y'all keep coming back. Y'all hate me, but y'all can't get enough of me. Golly, if you guys know real game, then you guys would know that this guy got me has some serious game, but he's able to get under people's skin like this just from talking because I'm not even insulting anyone. It's just this positive energy in this game and this is it's too much. You got to find something wrong with it. No, nigga, you ain't got to find nothing wrong with it. You just go find something else you like. That's it. If I don't like pepperoni pizza, nigga, I ain't going to keep going trying it out at different places. <laughs> figure it, figure your own feelings out. Figure out your own desires out. Then don't fuck with the shit you don't like. It's just that easy. Let me play. That's right, bro. And, and, and I promise you, you're not pissing me off. It's just a teachable moment because I'm because I'm just telling you what you think it is. Ha ha ha. I'm just looking at it like you guys are some assholes, bro. Yeah, you're never yeah. gonna make you're never gonna be successful in life, bro. Actually, that comes down to um they say not all five fingers are the same. These are the same people that if they were to get rejected because someone's preference is not them, they take it to heart and they internalize it and they personalize it. Like it's not mm -hmm. like that, man. Not all five fingers are the same. If you don't like something, it's not for you. You know, mm -hmm. you don't gotta you don't gotta dedicate any emotions and negativity to it. Like that's that that's that's loser mentality these guys are on, like you're saying, man. Like how do you go from like not liking something and then dedicating emotion to it in order to find time to hate it? That's that's crazy to me, man. It is crazy. Yeah, they, like true seven, they hate you and they want to be you. And I think it's flattering, bro. <laughs> uh, it'd be funny to me. I don't know, bro. I'm t I keep telling you, niggas, you guys cannot get under my skin for real unless you start affecting my money and shit. You ain't affecting my money, bro. Then it don't really matter. I just be using you niggas as teachable moments to 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 increase my talking points. <laughs> Why you talking shit? And you just helping me with my talking points. That's all you doing, because it's just because we're talking about master level game and mindset. So I can can show you through me and Jesse master level mindsets, and then I'm showing you loser mindsets by the trolls. What not to do? <laughs> right. I don't even have to. I don't even have to make up situations. You guys are creating the content for me. Why you niggas think you so smart? You're not smarter than me. <laughs> That's why it says King Genius Afi, bro. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot bait a master baiter. You can't. It doesn't it doesn't work that way, bro? I'm always ten steps ahead. If a nigga ain't addressing you, it's it's, it's by strategy too, or you're not significant. You know what I'm saying? Dark Ninja's not significant either, but I'm just trying to understand how come he don't get it. Like this is like three weeks you've been over here harassing me, bro. You got a crush on me. I don't like boys. I am a man, Damon. Thing is is not um it, it's never letting up okay and for those of you who say well you know will women really do that well you probably wouldn't know because you spend most of your time trying to talk women into something they already want to do you're just trying to talk them into it something what's the key word he said jesse you're trying to talk women into something they already want to do that's cold jack because it's true you got you guys you guys be looking at you guys be looking at the game how I looked at the game when I was 15 years old. And this is not and this is not a I'm not clowning you guys I'm like I'm cuz I'm going to tell you why. Like when I was 15 years old, I thought that women <clears throat> when I was 15 years old, I thought that women were into sex. I thought that men were into sex. Then when a woman likes you enough, she gives you sex. That's what I thought. So that, and then and then I learned that <clears throat> women are want sex too. Women are horny too. And then once you figure that out, like I said earlier, again, the, the validation is in your hands, in the center of your hand. You know, that's the real game. So, in other words, women don't meet this cool guy very often. They meet the, the guy who's over pursuing. He's relentless. You know, I'm talking about in the creepy way, right? You know what I'm saying, right? We've all been there and done that. It's the guy who's so desperate and needy and he wants something. He's trying to make something happen. 
And that girl's not going to be excited about being assertive. And what I find is that most women I talk to would love to be assertive. If number one, they knew that we could handle it, right, when they are assertive. What he's saying right there is basically women will be more open if you let them take their mask off. You see, that's what I'm saying. I know he knows his shit, but I know my shit better than he knows his shit. Not no disrespect, but I'm saying like it's a deeper. He's saying it's good game, but then there's a deeper level under that. What he means is, <clears throat> women, they don't want to be judged, and that's why they hold back on certain things they want to do. Not only sexually, it's not just the sex shit that oh she really want to do it super net. Like not just that. I'm talking about the way they treat you. Uh, the things they want to do for you, they hold back because they don't, they don't, you gave them that energy that you're going to judge them. So then they don't want to show you their skills. That comfort. Yeah. You've taken that comfort away by doing that. Mm -hmm. You're taking it away. And I don't mean aggressive. I mean, assertive in a very healthy, fun way. Um, and they don't meet that guy. They rarely meet that guy. They always meet the guy who's doing the same thing as every other guy. Doing, don't do the same thing and when you're doing the same thing that every other guy is doing that's competition you know guys tell me all the time oh how do i eliminate my competition you know i'm in the bar what about all these other guys and all that kind of stuff and i said well if you're doing everything that they're doing then yeah they're your competition but right so you guys are doing everything that everyone else is doing you think that you're not because it's you doing it like no bro when you do when you on when you're like on social media apps like tinder and you're sliding in these women's DMs like, hey, beautiful, hey, sweet. Do you know they probably get about three, four hundred of those? But for whatever reason, you think she's going to magically see Dark Ninja's profile and be like, let me let me click on this black ass nigga right here. Let me, let me stop playing around. Uh, but for real, you, you're not you, you, you're doing what everyone else is doing, but you're expecting different results. Well, guess what? Ding, ding, ding. In case y'all didn't know, that is insanity. When you do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You're putting your, but the thing is, it's it's crazy and insane, but it's more insane when you are, it's your brain. You're the one, you're the one, you're the one controlling that. And the game is so heavy, Jesse, that guess what? We, we've been on here an hour and seven minutes and we only got through 10 minutes of the video. <laughs> we only got through 10 minutes. That's what happens when you go past the surface level, right? You do a deep dive and really, really get into it. <clears throat> I, hey, brother, I disagree with you, Alpha Brick. You don't, you don't, you don't delete the social medias, bro. Social media is the easiest way. Now you need you need a digital footprint, man. No, you don't. Even in anything, in business, anything don't, you do, don't you get need to a extreme with this red pill. Oh, I'm gonna delete. No, no, no. Don't delete that shit, bro. You want all the social media, bro. Now, just and I, and I always tell guys, let's see. When I say you need them all, that don't mean that I don't mean that you have to post three, four times a day on all. You just need the access to have it, and you need to have that access for other people to get to you. And also, it's a comfort level thing. Like, if you were to meet somebody and like, huh, okay, let me look them up, and you find nothing on them in this day and age, you wouldn't trust them, or it's it's a red flag. In today's world, that would be a big red flag, and um, people wouldn't feel safe. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> information man says, stop trying to be the next man. Instead of being the man set us apart, stop copying what other people are doing and create your own lane. Yeah, that's what I do, man. Even on YouTube, like, man. You know, I just do things the way I want. I know I know I can do things a little differently, like make videos shorter, don't cuss, uh, teach guys how to actually get sex. I, I would be more popular, but that, it's just not my personality, bro. I got to be true to myself. I, this shit got to be fun for me, too. You know what I'm saying? I, it don't matter if y'all super chatting or not. Yeah, Y'all can super chat $100 per day. I don't want to wake up hating to do this shit. So I got to do shit that I like. And then just luckily, some of you cats like it too. But I got to do it for me first. Because if I'm not happy, I can't make you guys happy. Well, I'm a, let me not say that. I'm not saying I can't make you guys happy. But if I'm not happy, 
I can effectively teach. I can't have positive energy. I can't inspire you. I cannot inspire you if I'm not inspiring myself. That's the best way I can say it. If I'm not inspiring myself, I can't inspire you. You know what I'm saying? I can't. <clears throat> but if you're this other next level guy that, that I'm talking about, they're not your competition anymore. And so that's something to, uh, to think about. Okay. So nothing sexy about the provider. Now, if you want to be the next level kind of provider, then the next level provider is a guy who provides women with an opportunity to be interested in him. Come on, bro. That is fire game. He said provide women the opportunity to be interested in you. That tells me his, his, that his mindset is in reverse, and that's the correct way. You give women an opportunity to be interested in you, bro. I don't, Jesse, bro, I'd be kind of mad, bro, because I wish I had like the, I wish I, you know, I got a nice social media following between YouTube and Instagram and stuff, you know, it's in the case. And I wish I had that when I was really in pursuit mode of women. Like I don't even take, I can't even take advantage of it because it's not my interest anymore, you know? That validation, yeah, that social validation. Like, I wish I had 10,000 followers on Instagram when I was chasing women, bro. It'd be a wrap. But I don't even, but now I got it, but that's not where my mindset is at. Yeah. So I don't even take full advantage of it, you know? Information Man says, why are you wasting time with Instagram chicks who are basically trying to earn money of pimp you there, going to have sex with you? They don't know what they want with your money. True Savage says, women use checkout. Check out your social media for lack of better words. Validate you. Why cut off an advantage? Yeah, why don't cut off an advantage? You got to get that shit, bro. Stop doing what everyone else is doing. You're going to set yourself apart from being a regular man. And when you become regular, just another number in the bunch. That's facts, bro. So that's a provider I can stand behind. That's a provider that is sexy. A guy who provides... Instead of talking at a girl about himself and all the great things and cool things about him and trying to get her interested. See, and that's what y'all do. And this is what all men do. That's why I'm saying that's what the red pill is. Like, it's about reality views. Like, people be thinking, that's just you or that's just me. No, we all do it. Is providing an opportunity for the woman to talk about herself. Come on now. That is the pre qualifying process. I tell you guys all the time, I don't, when I meet a chick, I don't want to have sex with her. I don't want to be her. I don't do, want to do none of that. I have to see where her head is at first. That, that attraction shit don't do it for me. I do not see women and be like, ooh, I want to hit that and let me figure out how to hit that. That does not float my boat anymore, bro. It got to be something else. A woman, a woman is not just coming over to my house having sex with me because she horny, bro. I, I am not giving her that opportunity. It is not that big of a deal because I almost look at it like she gets more out of it than me. Because if I'm not even super in the sex, right? So sex isn't my number one thing that I'm into. But if sex is her number one thing that I'm doing, excuse me, if sex isn't the number one thing that I'm too into, but sex is the number one thing that she's into, who's really winning? She's getting more out of it than me. <clears throat> so that'll make me feel good. I'm doing all this pouncing and stuff. It's like I'm damn near performing for her because it's not floating my boat. It's only floating her boat. And that's why it, that shit isn't important to me. At the kingdom, there is a difference between efficient with women and being effective with women. That's facts, bro. That is facts. Shit. All right, man. I got to get ready to go to work. So like you guys let me know. I do have an interview with Sir Ism tomorrow. So... I had a series plan for you guys. Do you like this? Do you like the way that I'm breaking this game and teaching you this master level game? And we can do a part two when I can finish up this video. Um, I can finish it up. Let me know in the comments or I got two more. I have, um, I got a video that I want to break down from um, Tom. How you say his name? Tom Likonikis. What is it? How you say his name, Jesse? Tom Likonikis? Is that it? I have no idea, man. <laughs> well, Tom, Tom Likonikis. Well, Y'all know, know the white radio guy. Tom Likonikis, whatever. He had an interview that I want to teach y'all through. 
And then I have a video from Soft Underbelly where it's a prostitute interview. And I want to break down what she says. So let me know in the comments if you all want to do a, a, well, this ain't even really a breakdown. This is me teaching. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, little, it's a little bit different. Because me breaking down, see, usually when people break shit down, Tom, like, well, you, even though you wrote it, I still ain't saying it right. When you break shit down, usually, usually people, a breakdown is usually people are going against the content. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I'm watching some content, I'm breaking it down because what they're saying is incorrect. So this isn't a breakdown. I'm actually teaching because everything he's saying is correct. I'm just giving you the deeper game on top of what he's saying. So, um, Jesse, any last words, bro? Last words, man, man. Just you guys shouldn't be scared to explore beyond what you already know. With regards to this, at some point, um, the red pill is is a lens that you're supposed to use. Um, it's a lens. Don't be stuck in the face of it. Always have the lenses, and it's okay to take your glasses off and put on the red pill lenses and then sometimes it's okay to take it off but always have it it's kind of like when you're watching a movie and you want to see something really well you put your glasses on that's what the red pill is you don't want to be stuck into it and stuck in the ways always be in the pursuit of more always chase excellence and evolve man explore yourself evolve oh yeah follow your boy on instagram man they should pop up hold on yeah, I'm gonna do a part two, but when y'all want me to do it, because I'm trying to figure that out. I got I got Surism tomorrow, then I got free game Fridays on Friday. So we gonna either, but I got those two other pieces I want to break down for you guys too. But one of them, they're both they're both about 20 minutes long. So this is the this is the longest one. Those both of those clips I want to break down are 20 minutes a piece, and this one is uh 45 minutes. But as you see, we talked for an hour and 16 minutes, and we only got through. <laughs> <laughs> we only got through 11 minutes of it. So uh, you guys drop me a comment and let me know when y'all want part two because I I, cause I I got a lot of shit I want to pull out of it. So I could actually uh, do a late night show for you guys if you want that. So y'all let me know in the comment section. Not in This is the chat room. Remember the difference. This is the chat room. Y'all let me know in the comment section uh, when y'all want the part two later on the night or this week. And let me know what y'all think about this topic. And let me play this song as the outro and get y'all up out of here. That's that Scarface Joy from Trap. Appreciate you, Justin. Uh, no doubt, my guy. All right, y'all let me know in the comment section when y'all want to do it. Checking with you later, my boy. Peace, peace. <laughs>